Tony, um, can you explain to us what the Chairman's Award is? Yeah, the Chairman uh, uh, Chairman's Award is, is not a new concept. Um, you know, it's been used in many companies in one shape or another, and it, it really is all about uh, recognising uh, people within the organisation um, who have been seen to go above and beyond the normal call of duty, and it's a way of uh, that recognition could come from their peers, their line management. It can come from residents. It become visitors. It could become from uh, the residents themselves. So it really can that, that extra recognition and that fact that they have been pointed out as an individual who's went uh, over and above the, the line of duty um, has made them eligible and be nominated for the award. And it's also my way because obviously as chairman, it's very difficult for me to get around all the homes and meet 1500 staff. And it's always my way of being able to say thank you to those individuals for what their contribution um, to the people that we serve. And um, I think that's, a, a, from my point of view, that gives me a bit of satisfaction to be able to say to people, you know, I don't know you and I've never seen you possibly, but I want to just say that you, you, you're valued and we'll recognise what you're, what, what you're doing for the, uh, our residents. These are based on um, nominations that have come in then from others, which clearly you've been impressed by. Yeah, and one hundred percent. I mean, and, and it never, it never ceases to amaze me uh, what our staff and our people do. Um, the the extremes they go to just to get to work sometimes. Never mind actually doing the just doing the job. Um, but the the fact is that um, we all know that care is a vacation. You know, it has to come from the heart. And if it's in your heart, you will always do that little bit extra to make sure you make somebody else's life a little bit more comfortable. And I think that's what makes it so special um, when you look at the nominations that come in and you see some of the things that, that, that members of our, our staff have, have done. Um, it's really heartwarming and, and gives you a great sense of pride as being chairman of the company that your staff are actually uh, doing this. No, I think it's going to be exceptional um, as well because we did have some everyday hero um, coins that we handed out a couple of years ago during the pandemic. Um, but that was to every member of staff, so this is different, isn't it? Well, yes, it's totally different. I mean, I, I think the pandemic was a, a very unique uh, event. You know, it's a historical event. People will remember this for, for decades, not just, just years. Decades, people will remember the pandemic. And I think the, that uh, the, the coin that we handed out then was very, very different. You know, the everyday hero was to recognise that everybody in the company um, should be recognised. This is very different in terms of it is for people that on their day-to-day -day job, never mind the pandemic, take, put the pandemic aside, on, on their day-to-day -day job have went over uh, and above uh, to contribute. And I think it, as I say again, it was a way of myself as chairman being able to personally give them something from me in recognition of their contribution. So these are limited edition. There's only 100 of them. So I guess that makes them pretty valuable, right? I think they're, they're pretty unique, yeah. There's only 100 uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, I'd like to think that people do cherish them when they get them and, and, and recognise that these are not given out willy-nilly. There has been a process that people have went through to be nominated and then been subject to a panel and then sub and then subsequently been awarded. So this is not something that I'd like people to throw in the back of a drawer. I think it's something they should be proud of and, you know, it's something they could talk over dinner with their friends, their family and say, you know, I got recognised by the chairman of the company today and I'm really proud to work for the company and I'm glad it's, I haven't gone unnoticed. I think the pandemic, that was it was quite right that everybody was was given something then because everybody put in a sterling effort. Um, this is for this, this, this special individuals who've been nominated. And um, there's obviously a nod here to your, your military background. I'm assuming is that how the idea came about? Well, not 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 specifically. I mean, <laughs> if we actually look at awards in general, and I'm and I'm going to be very candid and frank here, is that I never really bothered too much about awards um, many many years ago uh, for the company. This and then I I was at um, I think it was the Scottish Care Awards one year, and I and I just realised how much awards meant to people. So somebody was getting the Carer of the Year or the Caterer of the Year or whatever it was, and there was a whoop in the hall and in the hall and in the hall, and I thought. Gosh, this actually does mean something to people, um, because 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 I'm a sort of self-made in terms of building the business from scratch on my own. I think you, you, the only person that pats me on the back is me, 
it's very hard to get recognition. <laughs> and then I realised that if I did start going out and getting awards for the for myself and the company, that was the way of the company and everybody in the company getting recognised. So I thought it was important um, at this stage, you know, in 30 years of, of Balhousie, it was very important that we did something significant um, in, in regards of recognising the staff and members of the staff who went uh, above and beyond. And uh, as chairman, I felt it was my responsibility to do that. And lastly, just anything you want to say specifically to these recipients? Well, I think from, from the bottom of my heart, I can't thank them enough for what they do for the business and for the residents. And I think also um, they have to recognise how good they are. You know, I think that's the thing. They have to look at the mirror and think that they are, they are good people and they deliver a sterling service. And that as a company, um, We'd be nowhere without these individuals. And these are the, these are the individuals that make Balhousie, because Balhousie is not Tory Banks. Balhousie is everybody associated with it. That's the employees, the people that supply us with our food and our day-to-day our -day stuff for keeping the homes going, you know, um, our advisors on the board. So Balhousie is not one individual. It's over 1,500 people who collectively, who collectively, 24-7, 365 days a year, provide a fantastic service to our residents. I guess it's the people in the community too, because some community members will be receiving the award as well. A hundred percent, and I think that, that that's that again. It's a very special, a very special recognition. I think that people who support the company. I think that's 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 what I like to think that we are we serve communities. People will hear me say this quite a lot. I believe that the care homes that we have serve communities. We serve the people in that those communities, and we're part of those communities. Uh, we look after people that have been born, bred and lived in those communities and worked in those communities. And a lot of the staff live and work, uh, uh, well, obviously live in those communities. So it's important that we're seen as a community resource and we're, we're obviously a company that provides a service to the communities. Great. Thanks so much for your time, Tony. Thanks, Julie.